So you're having difficulty with one particular key. What do you do? That's what this video is about. Hi, I'm Donna Schwartz from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com, the site to bring your playing up to the next level. So I'm going to give you three tips to help you deal with difficult keys. We all have our difficult keys to deal with. Okay, For some folks, the flat keys are harder. For some folks, the sharp keys are harder. For some folks, it's using, uh, you know, if it's on a saxophone, it's using the pinky keys. Okay. Um, you know, for other instruments like a trumpet, it's the third third valve, you know, the third finger. The saxophone players are probably laughing because there's so many keys here, but this, this is your weakest finger, your ring finger, not your pinky. And it's, sometimes it's hard to press down that valve and keep it coordinated. So we all have our challenging keys. All right, so I'm gonna give you three tips. Here's my first tip. Have the key of the week. All right, so when you're practicing, you're doing everything in that key of the week. You're doing your long tones in that key, you're doing your scales, and you're doing tunes. Okay, so keep it key centered, key focused. So this way, even though you're not happy with that key, <laughs> you will get a little bit more happy with that key by the end of that week, or perhaps you need to spend two or three weeks. There's no harm in doing that, okay? Does that mean though that you shouldn't practice any other keys? No, it doesn't, but you want your main focus to be on that challenging key. All right, so that's tip number one. Tip number two is when you play the scale, um, especially if you're having difficulty with like one scale, play all the modes that, that are part of that scale. So if it's the key of E flat, you're playing not only the major scale, but all the modes that apply to that key. You're getting great work in that key. You're also getting a workout with your, with your left pinky, if it's on the saxophone, and on the trumpet, that third valve, okay? So um, you're also building your ears. The more that you play in that key, the more that you're hearing how the scales change, how the scales change, how the notes sound, all that type of thing, okay? Now, the thing to keep in mind, um, and this is going to apply more for woodwind players, you've got to be aware of alternate fingerings. I know a lot of saxophone players that only use the bis key, like for every single B flat. I don't necessarily agree with that. And for folks that have narrow fingers like I do, that doesn't work. So um, I have my rules for alternate fingerings. I have some videos on that. You can just search my YouTube channel or search, search my site, DonnaSchwartzMusic.com. Um, but what I would say is be aware of the alternate fingerings, okay? So that bis key may not work for you, um, but in the key of E flat, I would actually recommend that. But certain keys, you're not gonna use the bis key, I feel, like the key of F sharp, all right, or the key of B, all right? So just be aware of the alternate fingerings. It could make life easier, all right? Uh, be aware that, you know, you can keep the G sharp or the A flat key down, okay, when you're moving around, all right? Certain things that you wanna be aware of that's gonna help you with your fingerings and your coordination. Okay, the third tip is gonna to be to find tunes or melodies in that key, all right? Or take a popular tune that you know, like, um, you know, um, Over the Rainbow, that was in D, my D, we'll then transpose it to E flat. And keep it simple at first, don't do the rip up. So this way you, you know, you get the transposition right, you get the notes right. And then when you're comfortable with it, So take, you know, take popular tunes that you know and transpose them in that challenging key, all right? That'll help you hear better also in that key. It's going to work on your transposition chops as well um, and your, transcri your transcribing chops as well, okay? So, you know, big bonus uh, with that particular, with that particular um, tip that I gave you. Now, here's a bonus tip. Find music that's in that challenging key and learn the tune for it, of course but transcribe a solo that's 
you know, for that tune. So for example, um, uh, body and soul should be in that key. However, I wouldn't recommend that as a first tune to transcribe a solo for, because there's tons of, gosh, there's tons of like, you know, temporary key centers and changing chords and that kind of thing. So I wouldn't recommend a ballad to start with. Um, but I would say something like, um, stomping at the sad boy, ba doo ba da boo da um, mm. Ah, gosh, it escaped me. It escaped me. But look for jazz standards that may be in your key of E flat or uh, whatever key is challenging for you. Learn the tune and then find a solo to transcribe and transcribe bits and pieces of that solo to start with. That's going to get you more adept in that key. It's going to get you more flexible in that key and it won't be so much of a challenging key anymore for you. So now tell me, is there one key that's really super challenging for you and you're still kind of stuck? Let me know in the comments below what you've done in the past to try to get unstuck and what, where you're still stuck right now. Now, if you're not stuck with challenging keys and you feel like you've surpassed that, hey, share a little bit of your knowledge. Share one tip in the comments below. That'll help folks who are struggling a little bit. So hey, if you like this video, well, like it, that would be cool. Share it, that would be awesome. And click subscribe. You'll know when the next time I put my new videos out, okay? And if you really like the content and you wanna go deeper, well, I've got a free video, uh, Three Mistakes Most Improvisers Make When Improvising. And all you need to do is just give me your email, okay? And then you get that video for free. And it's a really uh, jam-packed video. You're gonna learn a lot from that. I'll put the link in the show notes below. All right, so thanks for joining me. On that note, take care. Have a great day.